Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Salt Intuition Tarot. Y'all like, share, comment, as well as subscribe. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Already started this reading, but my dog started barking, so... The cards I have for you is the Moon, the Chariot, and the Emperor. And this, to me, is telling me that uh, no matter what setbacks or how hard... Um, you have tried and been tested, you need to move forward with confidence and be determined. You're going to have victory over whatever it is. Illness, enemies, financial problems, all your goals are going to be achieved because you have self-control. You need to take satisfaction in your accomplishments. Also, you have an emperor status. You know, you have people that depend on you, people that you know, you have authority over. You have leadership ability. Everything that you wanted, projects or financial or love relationship, seems like it's fallen into place. All your dreams are being realized. You defend those that are in weaker position. No, you know, you're not only the boss, but you defend people, you know, that aren't well put together as you. That's what I want to say. But, you know, move forward. There are some things that maybe you you didn't know. Some secrets or whatever that came out. Maybe some deception. But you moved on from that. Because you don't want to be living in no low vibe situation. You know, you want to keep it moving. I had some cards fall on the floor. Let's see what they are. You have count your blessings. You also have miracle. Count your blessings. You've had a lot of miracles come up. You know, even though you've had some challenges in life, you have, you know, overcame them. And you're the boss of it. You know, you got boss status. So, I don't think anything at this point is going to be able to stop you. There have been a lot of uh, grief in the past. Sleepless nights, looks like. But it seems like you overcome that by making uh, intelligent, methodical decisions. People see you as being kind, cheerful, and easy, easy going. And you're protective. There's that protective card again. Looks like you protect people that, you know... In, that are in weaker position, you're a boss. You're a leader. Not that you've not had sleepless nights over it. You know, not that you've not really thought about it. You just move forward. Keep moving. No matter what you come up against. Let's see what else we have for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We have the Knight of Wands. Looks like somebody's coming in for you. Somebody that's confident, sexy. Could be a, a fire sign. Uh, we also have Pisces up here. We have the chariot. This Cancer with the Emperor Aries. Uh, also have the Knight of Wands. Somebody's coming in really fast. Uh, they're wanting to start something with you. Either a new project or come to tell you about a new project. Maybe they... Uh, they want constant change, so they're coming in, talking to you. They're wanting something to change. Something about the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is, you know, you realize, they're want, maybe they want to tell you, you know, money does not necessarily mean happiness. But it is good to be financially secure. I mean, I don't know how you're going to make it without it. But they're coming in with the playfulness and being unstructured. And they want you to uh, feel more free. Like maybe they think you're constricting yourself in some way. We'll see what's going on with this person. Do they feel you're constricting yourself? Devil. They're coming in toxic. You have nothing toxic. They want you to have toxic. They're coming in like the devil. I mean, could be Capricorn involved. Doesn't have to be. But they're coming in, being they want you to be codependent. Uh, maybe this person is materialistic. 
maybe they want something from you. You are emperor status. Maybe they see you as a come up. Let's see. Maybe you want, uh, there might be, you know, codependencies, toxic things. This person is toxic. Yeah, they're going to have you all up in your head. They want you to be that way. So watch out for this individual. Somebody's coming in. Want you to get have some cloudy judgment. Possibly, uh, br yeah, bring in some time. But you're going to, uh, yeah, they're coming in quick. Knight of Swords. You're going to move away from that, though. You're seeing this person has a lot of codependency, a lot of toxic things. I don't need this in my life, and I'm moving away from this. That's what I'm seeing, Gemini. You're going to get justice in this. The scales are going to be balanced, possibly a Libra sign. And you know that every action you take, you know, there's an effect. So you be decisive with this person. You might have disputes with this person. You might feel like that you're bound to trap and there's no way to go. There's no way to get out of it, but there is. There's always a, a choice. They're going to be disappointed and dissatisfied, or maybe you will. You don't like wasting your time. They're going to think you have a bad attitude. You don't want to get with their program. Well, toxic's not a program that I want to be engaged in, right? Somebody's going to come in, speak their truth. Someone you've known from the past, maybe they know a little bit more about the situation than you do. They're going to tell you this person is a thief. They'll get away with anything they can and watch out for them. And then you're going to take another path. You have the two of wands. You're going to take another path. You're going to move on with your life because you have options. You've already four swords. You've had personal battles. You know, you have people that tried to break you before. So this is nothing new. You've got, you stockpiled your resources, you know. You've battled. You've looked at things from a different perspective. Got somebody coming in wanting to make an offer. You know they're immature. You know that they're inexperienced. That's what pages are. They come in inexperienced wanting to give you, the more experienced person, something else to think about. Yeah, they're communicating to you. Maybe they want you to travel. Maybe uh, they're wanting to put you at a crossroads. You're on the right path. Don't let this person get you off your path. Also have the Ace of Pentacles, which means you, you have good times ahead. You just focus on yourself. Do some self-care. Keep on keeping on. You're going to have a lot of support. This person's not going to get anything over on you. What else for Gemini? They're coming in with page attitude of pentacles. Not that they can't make money, but it looks like they're not real experienced in whatever it is they're trying to offer. They're trying to offer a little bit of stability, a little bit of go-getter attitude. But they're not experienced enough to tell you what to do. You're, they're maybe juggling you and other people, trying to get everybody off their game. But, you know, they want you to be patient and wait for them. Well, you don't have to wait for no one. They have to come up to you. Don't ever go down to somebody else's level. Because if you do, you'll end up heartbreak and betrayal. That's what they're coming. They're bringing the tower down on you. They're trying to shake your world up and bring the tower down on you because they feel like they're bottoming out and they're grasping at anything. Don't allow this. Here's your heads up. Coming in with love bombing you, telling they love you, possibly wanting to have sex with you, using sex as a weapon, ace of wands. Trying to resurrect the dead. Maybe it's somebody, it is somebody from your past. Somebody trying to do a Lazarus up in here. Let, let the dead sleeping dogs lie. Let the dead, you know, be dead. Okay? What's our advice for Gemini? The advice is King of Pentacles. You got it going on. You're stable. 
you've got everything anybody could want. So, of course, you're going to attract a lot of people. People see you as a very stable individual. They want to be your lover. They do. You bet on that. The world. You're very happy they see that. They see your life has fell into place. They see that you're uh, emotionally fulfilled. They're also going to see how defensive you are if they try to take that from you. You're going to speak your truth. Truth, you know. You're going to laugh a little bit with them, but you watching them. You got the sword in the hand, Queen of Swords. You'll be honest. Be direct with these individuals. After you're direct, you're going to have success because you're going to cut out anything that doesn't serve you. That's what the Queen of Swords does. Four of Pentacles, uh, you're going to hold all, you know, everything you've gained financially or whatever it is, you're going to hold it close to your chest. They're not getting anywhere. Look at this dude. He's holding everything. He's got, maybe he can't, I don't know. You get the gist. Yeah, you got your stability, and you're keeping it. What else do you need to know? Three of Wands. They're going to put you in a third party. Try to give you a new business plan. Just trying to, you know, confuse you. Telling you about this, that, and the third. You know, wanting you to get your hands in all kinds of things. Maybe wanting to come up from you. Well, you know what to do. Got the Queen of Swords energy in here. See what the Romance Angels have to say for Gemini. Looks like you. You're going to be okay. Gemini. Romance Angels for Gemini. Got two cards. Codependency in reverse. Reconciliation in reverse. There are addictions affecting your romantic life. There's not for you. You're not going to allow it anymore. Codependency and reconciliation with people in the past. That's what this reading seems to be like. Be about people from your past wanting to reconcile with you. They're very toxic and codependent. But you're not doing that. That ain't what you're about anymore. You don't want none of that in your life. Weddings in reverse. No wedding up in here. And what they thought was coming... It's not coming. You're not you're not marrying this individual. Maybe they had that big thought they'd come in and marry you because they saw you're stable. They saw, you know, you as they come up. Somebody that may be going to inherit something. But, and that's why they stick around. They want the final payout. They're coming at you with very immature energy. Thinking they can uh, actually come to you in that way. Like you didn't, you don't, you're not seeing it coming. Well, they got another thing coming if they think that's true. Because you're going to move on. See how you're going to do it. They're fearing... Their loss of their, uh, their financial, they're in financial loss, okay? You better keep your money reserved, death in reverse. Means you're not putting a, an end to it. You, your physical needs are taking over. Maybe sex is what's getting you. Whew, but, not of pentacles, death in reverse. They're going to keep on coming at you slowly. And they're going to keep working on you and working on you. till they take you over and they're going to break your heart. That's, this ain't no joke. You can't make this shit up. Look at this. Death in reverse. They're going to keep working on you. Keep coming towards you. It's going to be slow. But you're still going to end up with the same result, okay? So you know how to stop this. You got the heads up. So take the advice and do it, Gemini. 
All right, Salt Intuition Tarot, y'all like, share, and subscribe. Peace out.